Once upon a time, a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, then later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit! I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Let's start from the beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented, and unpatterned. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Hey, you moron! Holy Jesus! You schmuck! Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Ugh. I left the guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. When leaving the cell, I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. And the ground was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night.
sleep. sleep. That box contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Bad news, dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good news, I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. I thought everyone would be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of... Two guards on the night shift. Hey, Mike. What's up? There's a missing box here. Are you sure? Yeah. I've been staring at the same fucking boxes for three hours. Dunno. They took it away. I'm going to check the area. For a box? Come on. They don't pay us enough. I heard something. I need to pee. Ah, oh, that's better. Back to work. Why did you keep punching those crates? What did you expect to happen? Nothing in particular. Then why this gratuitous violence? I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. You know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby. Cause it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at nighttime and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on, Harris. Are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. 
Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. Hey, a coin! I picked up the guard's radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that news. I'll tell you later. As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. I had the circuit. I just had to attach it to the radio. With the modified radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Now, I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. Here you are, Colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through Channel 1 as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed.
radio encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I'm looking for an exit, but I can't find it. Search for a sewer. By the smell, there must be one nearby. Over and out. What was that? Mike! Are you okay? Wake up, Mike! What happened, Mike? Someone attacked me! Let's find him. Escaping prisoner! You stole a one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation? Because it was his job, what you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. You removed his glass eye, too? Yes. I took it out of his eye socket to chill out. To chill out? Pulling out glass eyes relaxes you? I'm not a sadist. I didn't enjoy pulling it out. But it helped when I rolled it around in my mouth like candy. I was under a lot of pressure. Too much stress and I'd end up making a mistake. I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? It's only one ply, unscented, and unpatterned. It's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax. 
and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes sir. You broke down the door and attacked a guard while he was on the toilet? Yes. I beat the shit out of him. Is that a joke? No. I literally beat the shit out of him. That toilet paper wasn't unscented anymore. Let's move on. ran into a guard as I went in. Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. How were you captured? We were heading to Cantor, a neutral zone, when we were ambushed. No one else survived. I doubt anyone back at base expects me to be alive either. Colonel, do you copy? Affirmative. Did you already find a sewer or exit? Not yet. Still searching for it. <laughs> Under some crates, I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? Sewer found. I'm looking for a rope or something to go down. There must be some around. Search thoroughly. The lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot? Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you going to shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye guard. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. 
Good news, this kit stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. Too empty. I needed to be relaxed, with no close threats or alarms. I couldn't use that potty. It was full. I had to empty it in some toilet. Why didn't you just empty it anywhere? Because I'm not a pig. Moreover, if I wanted to water the plants anywhere, why did I need a potty? And you took your urine with you? Yes, until the next toilet. There, I emptied it to reuse it again. I heard something. Hey, Mike, there's a missing box here. Mike? Hey, dude, say something. Fuck, I have a bad feeling. Be quiet. my lighter back. What lighter? You bastard. Screw yourself in that cell. Hey, bro, help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. And I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner too. I've been imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. Hey, friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. Hold on, I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard! Hasta la vista. Hey, Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, Someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, It's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. The soldier says to his captain, Sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm going to have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I don't know, sir. I'll find out in nine months. 
What's in your closet, Private? It's water, sir. Don't lie to me. This is wine. Praise the Lord. Hey, a coin. You're not going to pick it up, right? Yeah, why not? Come on, Mike. It's the oldest trick ever. As soon as you crouch down, smack! Smack what? The owner will show up and kick your ass. Did you hear that? Could it be an escaping prisoner? Being so noisy? Nah, maybe it's Mike playing a joke on us. Just pay no attention. Mike! Hey! A coin! Hey, a coin! I heard something. What was that? Mike! Colonel, do you copy? I copy you. Do you already have something to go down? Not yet. I'm still searching. Come on, son. There must be a rope somewhere. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. I got ready to use the rope to go down, but I couldn't find anywhere to tie it. I needed a hook or something to anchor it to the edge of the hole. Colonel, do you copy? Affirmative. Did you already go down the sewer, son? Not yet, Colonel. Hurry up! We don't have all night. Be quiet! I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was... what was it? Damn, I can't remember. Stop it! Oh yeah, now I remember. It was that damn grenade guy! I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles. And blood-stained spears that moved up and down. And bony arms that tried to grab me. And deadly lays. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles in my report. Now, Mr. Fox, please continue your story. All right. The fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. <laughs> Running away? I'll be stupid, 
but not a coward. Boss defeated. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? But you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. put the corpse down next to the ditch a second time. Why next to the ditch? Were you planning to dump the body? No. Why would I do that? I never wanted to kill him. And besides, I didn't want to feed the tentacles or skeletons. I told you I struck that from the report. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. One guard on the night shift. <laughs> Escaping prisoner! No trace of the prisoner. Returning to my position. I was injured and losing blood. I had to heal that wound before I bled to death. But I had nothing to stop the bleeding. I had to find something. Bless you! Talk to the guy in the cell before moving on. You removed his glass eye too? Yes, I took it out because it was suspicious. What was suspicious? 
Why did a one-eyed man have a glass eye under an eye patch? He'd be using a patch or an eye, but not both. Maybe the eye was some sort of secret device. I kept it just in case. Be quiet. Play sleep. Stop it. You bastard! Screw yourself in that cell! I ran into a guard as I went in. That bastard saw me. I had to knock him out before he killed me. And tell me, Mr. Fox, if you could not reach him, how did you manage to beat him? I created a weapon with the stuff I had on me. Before going down, I had to tend to some matters with Harris. I was about to go down that hole when I remembered that I still hadn't radioed the colonel. Before I left, I found something in a box that proved useful later. 